so yesterday we learned about radians, and now we're going to figure out how to do things with radians in our calculator. Now determine the value of cotangent of 12 pi over 5. So we notice that there's no degree sign there, so 12 pi over 5 is in radians. And in order to calculate this, we don't have to convert that to degrees. We just have to tell our calculator that we want to do something in radians. Now on your calculator, you have buttons for sine, cos, and tangent. You don't have buttons for the reciprocals. You don't have a button for cotangent. So what we have to do first is first we're going to figure out tan of 12 pi over 5. And we're going to remind ourselves that cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tan of theta. And this is the first place where you're going to get confused and make a mistake, is you're going to want to flip the 12 pi over 5. What I want to highlight here is the definition of cotangent being reciprocal of tangent. Notice that that theta is theta. That means that that angle doesn't change. When we're dealing with reciprocals, we'll take our answer and flip it, but we'll never take our angle and flip it. So we have cotangent to 12 pi over 5. We don't know what that is, but we can type tan of 12 pi over 5 into our calculator. We can also type if cotangent of 12 pi over 5 is 1 over tangent, thank you, then we can write 1 over tangent of 12 pi over 5 into our calculator. So we take our calculator out. The first thing we're going to need to do on our calculator is tell it that we want to do this question in radians. So on your exam or on your test, sometimes you're going to be flipping back and forth. One question in degrees, another one in radians, another one in degrees. So how do we switch back and forth? We touch our mode button. And right now on the fourth line, it says degree is highlighted. So I go to radian, I push enter, and that will highlight radian. And that changes your calculator from degrees to radians. So the next thing we can do, second quit, go back to here, and now we can write 1 over tan 12 pi over 5. Now, if you have the newest calculator, I highly recommend, so if you have a TI-84, I highly recommend any time that you have a fraction that you write it as a fraction. And you can do that by pushing your alpha button, and then Y equals, and this little menu will come up. So if you push alpha and Y equals, that menu should come up. If you have a TI-84 and it doesn't come up, then come see me because I can update your operating system. By pushing that, it lets you write things exactly as a fraction. So I can go 1 divided by tan. Even here, I can go alpha y equals and make another fraction, 12 pi over 5. Use your arrow keys to move from one part of the fraction to another. And we can write it exactly as we see it in our notes. Now, if you don't have a TI-84 with those options, if a TI-83, then you're going to, every time we do a calculations, sometimes you're going to need extra brackets on the bottom, and I'll help you with that. In this case, this one would work out. Push Enter, and we find out that it's equal to 0.324. So to the nearest hundredth, cotangent of 12 pi over 5 is 0 0.32. Here, I'll just, I'll put the questions up, 6 and 11. 